today we have to discuss that is pharmacology too in that the drugs which is active on the nervous system in that the main dopamine that is very very important for 10 marks question that is called sedatives and hypnotics okay first what do you mean by the sedatives and what do you mean by the hypnotics okay first sedatives these are the drugs which reduces the excitement of the patient and reduces the calm okay without inducing the sleep without inducing the sleep that is called sedatives again i will tell you definition the sedatives are the drugs which reduces the excitement of the patient and also reduces the calmness without inducing the sleep okay that is called sedatives next what is hypnotics which induces the sleep which is similar to the natural sleep that is called hypnotics okay that is called go to the definition of the sedatives and hypnotics the drugs which reduces the excitement without inducing the sleep the drugs which induces the sleep that is called hypnotics this is the main difference between the sedatives and hypnotics next this is the main classification of sedatives and hypnotics when you take it in the long acting drug short acting drug and ultra short acting drug in this first one is diazepam and lorazepam is the main example of this long acting the short acting here the main example is lorazepam alprazolam and nitrazepam ultra short acting the main drug that is called as midazolam non benzodiazepines the main example is jopiclone then barbiturates very very important drug that is barbiturates long acting short acting and ultra short acting in this long acting phenobarbital which is used for the neonatal jaundice then short acting that is called as pentobarbital another drug is called also known as butobarbital then ultra short acting that is called thiopentanoic sodium last drug that is called thiopentanoic sodium injection which is used in the operation theater for inducing the anesthesia we act as anesthesia along with the barbiturates okay this is the entire classification of sedatives and hypnotics next we move on to the next headline that is called mechanism of action okay m o a what what is the mechanism of action of this main barbiturates one thing i will tell you in one point here that is called thus this what the benzodiazepines and barbiturates this benzodiazepines are nowadays it has to be used in very more compared to this barbiturate okay nowadays we have used this benzodiazepines to induce in the sleep of the patient compared to this barbiturate nowadays this barbiturate to the same less quantity this is very more point here come to the point of mechanism of action first when we have to this what this pharmacology of barbiturates they ask pharmacology of barbiturates they ask is what is the main mechanism of action of this barbiturates and benzodiazepines in our nervous system first we note the point that is called introduction that is gaba okay this is a one of the neurotransmitter which is present in the synaptic vesicles of the synapses of the neuronal end so what happens here when the barbiturate we can take an example of barbiturate that is called as phenobarbital okay when we can take this example of phenobarbital this drug that phenobarbital this this will directly go and binds with the this gaba receptor which is present in the this is a neurotransmitter transmitter which is present in the synaptic vesicles of the neuronal end okay when this barbiturate is given to the eye or eye it can directly go on to the why did this gaba receptor what happens this gaba receptor there is stimulation of this gaba receptor next stimulation of gaba what happens after stimulation of this gaba what the gaba can do means there is a opening of cl minus ion channel means chloride ion channel see see this is called neuronal cell membrane which is present on the brain cells what happens here there is a presence of this barbiturate binding site in this neuronal cell membrane inside that what happens there is a presence of this barbiturate binding site barbiturate binding site which contains this gaba okay this gaba receptor okay, present in this 
you must remember what happens when you can give this voluntary for example vinavardhan jayapadan sir whatever it may be that is to give it this comes or oh, like comes to the process of blood being there into the blood stream blood being there yet, and this will bind into the this gamma receptor that is voluntary binding site what happens this will helps to the opening of this chloride ion channel this is chloride ion channel this what happens when it comes in bind this stimulating of this what happens this entry of chloride ion from outside to the inside Here, when once opening of chloride ion channel, there is an entry of Cl minus ions from outside to the inside of the neuronal cell membrane. That what happens? That will inhibit the neuronal firing. Inhibition of neuronal firing of brain cells that leads to CLS depression. This is about the mechanism of action of this. Once we can introduce this barbiturates to IV or IM injection, it can go to the bloodstream, process the blood vein there, here, and binds with the GABA receptor, which is present in the neuronal cell membrane of the brain. Okay, then stimulate the this GABA receptor. Okay, which is one of the neurotransmitter. Then opening of this chloride ion channel, this GABA part will be helps to the opening of this chloride ion channel. Then that leads to entry of this chloride ion from the outside to the inside. Outside to the inside. Then we have inhibition of the neuronal firing of the brain cells. That leads to CNS depression. This is all about the mechanism of action of benzodiazepines along with the barbiturates. If they ask benzodiazepines, write this only. If they ask barbiturates, pharmacology of barbiturates, you write this only. This is the entire mechanism of action of this barbiturates and benzodiazepines. See, here barbiturates are benzo. No need to confuse them here. This is not a difference. Pharmacological action of sedatives and hypnotics contains benzodiazepines and barbiturates. First, this what is the main action on the CNS? It is called central nervous system, including brain and the spinal cord. What it act? In this, what happens when they give the sedatives and hypnotics to the IV or IM? It will go into the bloodstream and process the blood vein barrier (BBB). Then what the Action it has to be initiated in the brain. First one is that is called drowsiness. First, drowsiness. Then induces sleep. Okay, induces sleep. Then acting on anesthesia effect and coma that leads to final death. Okay, how this act on the central nervous system? First, it will cause the drowsy, then induces the sleep. Drowsy means that is called sedative. It does not induce sleep, but only causes the drowsy. Induces the sleep, that is hypnosis. Then over the sleep, anesthesia, then coma, and finally it should be the death. That is called first action. Then CVS, that is called as cardiovascular system. The cardiovascular system is here. What happens? The total, the total overall of the cardiac functions which is present in our brain, that is called as vasomotor center. Vasomotor center, VMC. When the drugs, sedatives and hypnotics, we have to give it. It will go and process the BBB, and this will suppresses the vasomotor center. Okay, then it will suppresses the vasomotor center and leads to the hypotension and tachycardia. Hypotension and bradycardia. There is a decrease in the BP and reducing in the heart rate. That is comes under this CVS. Then respiratory center. The respiratory center which is present on the middle of the gate, which is helpful for the to for the patient to to take the breath for the 16 to 18 breaths per minute. So what this drugs we have to give in it will suppress the respiratory center which is present in our brain. That is called middle of the gate part. That leads to respiratory depression. Then smooth muscles. Smooth muscles. While giving this drug, what happens? There is a relaxation of the all body smooth muscles. Especially what happens? There is a GI smooth muscles. GI smooth muscles. There is a relaxation of GI smooth muscles leads to the decreasing in the peristaltic movement. Okay, after relaxing, relaxing by giving this administration of this drug. The GI muscles has to be relaxed and there is a decrease in the peristalsis movement and that leads to constipation. That is comes under smooth muscles. Next, central muscles. 
this is decreasing in the tone of the muscles. That leads to the tone of the muscles automatically tends to be decreasing in R. Then that leads to main of the blood that is a decreased urinary output. This is about the skeletal muscle. This is a skeletal muscle. This is called the main form of the muscular action of this skeletal fluid. Keep on this. First one is CNS. While giving the administration of this drug, crosses the BPP, dosiness increases to anesthesia, coma, and death. Then that is called a CVS cardiovascular system. It will act on the directly vasomotor center which is present in our brain. That is the creates hypotension and bradycardia. Then respiratory center that is, which is present in the medulla oblongata part. And that leads to respiratory distress or respiratory depression. Then smooth muscles, that is called GA smooth muscles, main acting that leads to decreases the peristalsis, that leads to constipation. Finally, that is called skeletal muscles, that is decreasing the tone of the skeletal muscles and relaxation, and that will decrease the urinary output, especially particular acting on the urinary bladder. This is all about this pharmacological action. That is the third method. First one is introduction after definition. We have right sedatives and hypnotics. Classification, mechanism of action of the sedatives and hypnotics. I find that the fourth is pharmacological action. How will we have to write in 10 marks question? The next we move on to the pharmacokinetics. Pharmacokinetics we know very well about the kinetics means the movement of drug within our body. That is called a pharmacist drug. Movement of drug within our body through the bloodstream is called pharmacokinetics. Absorption. The drug, the sedatives and hypnotics absorbed very well by the oral lead. First, and that after that there is entering into the small intestine for further absorption. That is first one. Then distribution. It has to be distributed throughout all over the body through the bloodstream and then what happens and also small tissues also it has to be distributed. Then metabolism. It has to be metabolized in the liver. Okay, it's the main factory which can metabolize all the things which is happens in our body. That is metabolism. And excretion. It has to be excreted through the kidney. Here liver. Distributed throughout the body into the tissue. This is about pharmacokinetics. After the pharmacological action, we should supposed to be right this pharmacokinetics. Next, what are the main therapeutic uses? Therapeutic uses of this sedatives and hypnotics that is called benzo and barbiturates. First one is that is called as insomnia. And second one is epilepsy. Okay, as well as convulsions. Okay, then after that, neonatal jaundice. Already I have mentioned this point in the classification of breath. That is called neonatal jaundice. And skeletal muscle relaxation. Skeletal muscle relaxation. And Anastasia and to treat anxiety disorder. These are the main therapeutic uses. In so many, there is the absence of sleep. In that such type of cases, by giving this benzodiazepines such as alprazolam, the private doctor prescribed that such as alprazolam, nitrazepam, for what purpose? Is for the inducing the sleep. Okay, they are disturbance from the sleep only. That type of in that type of patients, we have to administer this sedatives and hypnotics. So that is first therapeutic use is insomnia. Next epilepsy. Why epilepsy? There is a continuous neuronal firing which is occurring in our brain. That is called convulsions in our brain. So to reduce this neuronal firing, what I say in already in mechanism of action, GABA receptor. Okay, this barbiturates binds with the GABA receptors, opening of this channel and entry of that into inside, outside to the inside and inhibition of the neuronal firing. So that's why point I mentioned here that is called epilepsy. There is a continuous neuronal firing which is occurring in our brain. This what I have, this function of this drug is that it will inhibit the continuous neuronal firing in our brain and uh, that CNS depression induces sleep and patient will be finally calm. Okay, that is called epilepsy. Next, neonatal jandy. Example of this is called as Chemobarbicone. This drug will reduce the uh, hyperbilirubin in a patient. That's in jandis, there is increasing bilirubin level. So, what happens is barbiturone, also another effect, another uses of this phenobarbicone is that, that is called decreasing the bilirubin level. 
So that why purpose this near uh, this phenobarbital address that is comes under the farg uh, barbiturates that is called lung acting for near the genesis that has to be used. Next, skeletal muscle relaxant. Already I will mention skeletal muscle relaxants. Next, anesthesia. That is example of this is called uh, that that is thiopentanyl sodium. In OT, they are more suspect in this injection that has to be used. Thiopentanyl sodium. This is useful for the, in the OT that is called thiopentanyl sodium injection. Next, to treat anxiety disorders. The persons who is in anxiety, okay, they are in anxiety state to reduce that anxiety, they are advised this uh, sedatives and hypnosis for particular the time for so some time. This is all about therapeutic uses. Okay, and then next, let's more talk next after that time is that is called as a doses. For adults, this is about 10 to 30 mg per day. That is total amount of TAD dose. For children, that is reduced, that is 2 mg to 6 mg per kg per day. Okay. This is about doses. This is a small note point. Dose. Then next, we move on to the final one that is called side effects. See, side effects you only take about the side effects of this uh, sedatives and hypnotics. The first one is you know about that when it has to be acting on the respiratory center, first one is respiratory depression, respiratory depression, then it acts on the cardiovascular system, it has to be hypotension, then bradycardia. These are all about the side effects. Then uh, along with that, it's called as mototoxicity. And neurotoxicity, then drug dependency, drug dependency. Huh? Uh. Next, uh, and also along with that, it acts on those smooth muscles that is GAD, that is a decreasing pressure of movement, that leads to constipation. These are all the main side effects, and along with that. Okay, this, this much amount of the more side effects. Okay, first one is respiratory depression, hypotension, body cardiac, water toxicity, neurotoxicity, drug dependency, constipation. Why drug dependency is once the person can use this with a sedatives or hypnosis, they are starting to that only. Okay, when they take the tablet, they are still using sleep. So that concept that might best come in their mind. So that's a drug dependency is one of the side effects of this sedatives and hypnosis. Okay, here friends, the final one is the core. First one we can they ask about the sedatives and hypnotics along with the pharmacology of barbicides. Both are same question. First they ask you to write the definition. Okay, definition of both that sedatives and hypnotics. Then second one is the entire classification. Okay, by giving the classification only they can do marks. Okay, next after that we can write about the uh, mechanism of action. Then pharmacology of sedatives and hypnotics and then after this therapeutic uses then dosages pharmacokinetics then last one that is called as side effects this is about total weightage of 10 box question by writing the answer of this sedatives and hypnotics Definition, classification, mechanism of action, pharmacology of other, therapeutic uses, doses, pharmacokinetics and side effects. See, I mean mechanism of action, what I say, that is I will give example of this phenobarbital, okay. That's all about mechanism of action of this sedatives and hypnotics. Okay, this is all about today's class. Tomorrow we can discuss about the anesthesia. That's also very, very important for 10 more question. Okay, thank you.